Hey everybody, so you're not going to see my face right now, but I am going to show you what I'm drawing and we're going to talk about the life cycle of the ladybug. So every ladybug begins from the leaf. And on that leaf are little eggs. They usually look about this color. And ladybugs can lay up to 300 eggs. Most of the time, a little bit less than that, but that's the most they can lay up. But that's a lot of eggs. They lay them on a leaf or they can lay them on a stick, just somewhere safe where they won't get eaten by other insects and other predators. So inside this egg are little baby ladybugs. And out of these eggs hatch the larva. And the larva does not look like a ladybug. So I'm gonna show you a picture first. We're gonna look here. Here's a picture of the ladybug laying her eggs on a leaf. And then out of those eggs hatch the larva. See how they don't look like little baby ladybugs? They look completely different, but they still have six legs. So I'm gonna see if I can draw a larva. They have a lot of little segments to their body. So out comes a little hungry larva. And it has sections. And they're very small at first. And they have kind of this hard shell. So I want to make sure to do three legs on one side, three legs on the other side. And they're mainly black. And they have some yellow. So this is how I'm going to do mine. Sorry, I'm sniffing a lot because I keep sneezing. It's really that time of year. Okay. There's my larva. So pretty much out of these eggs hatch many, many larvae, and the larvae are very hungry. Sometimes they even eat eggs that maybe weren't fertilized, or maybe the larvae hadn't hatched out of one. They'll even eat that when they first come out. They are voracious eaters. And as they eat, they grow, and they grow, and they grow, and every time they grow, they split open their skin and emerge out even bigger and bigger until, wait, let me write here, eggs and then I'm going to write larva. Then when that larva is ready to become a ladybug, it has to go through another stage, another change. So that larva finds another leaf and attaches itself to that leaf. It kind of becomes this like, it's like twists a little bit and it becomes really hard, like a hard little shell. And you can still see the same similar colors. It still has the little bit of the yellow. And there it is inside with that leaf. And this stage, when it stops, is very similar to a chrysalis or a cocoon. The stage is called the pupa. Pupa. Pupa stage. Kind of made a little. All right, so we start with the eggs, then we go to larva, and then the larva forms the pupa. And then out of the pupa 
emerges a tiny ladybug. And at first, the ladybug is kind of an orangish color. You don't really see any of its spots that well. But after a while, when it all dries and hardens up, and this is, his wings are kind of inside. This is like part of its wings because ladybugs have wings and ladybugs have spots. And many people think the spots show how old the ladybug is, which isn't really true because ladybugs only live for about two to three years. That's the longest. They even hibernate during the winter time. So they're in this pupa stage and out emerges the ladybug and the ladybug goes and eats all those pests in your garden called aphids that are trying to eat up your vegetables, your rose bushes. They're such a nuisance in the garden. So ladybugs are really beneficial to your garden. So you really want to take care of your ladybugs. Now, they, I'm going to write the word ladybug, ladybug. And then I'm going to write life cycle of a ladybug. So, they start out as eggs on a leaf. Out comes the larva. The larva eats and grows and eats and grows and then forms a pupa. And the pupa inside, there's a metamorphosis, a change happening. And out comes a ladybug. And that ladybug finally flies away in search of more aphids and it's a really good thing to have in your garden and they are our friends and then when they're alive winter comes around again they hibernate and they all find all of their friends and they huddle together in groups and they fall asleep because just like a bear or any other animal that hibernates they eat and eat and eat all during the summer and then they live while they're sleeping or they're hibernating, that food that's in their tummies and in their bodies is what they stay alive with. And they'll sleep all winter long. And then they emerge in big groups and they fly and they fly and they fly and they find their mates. And then they'll lay more eggs and the whole process will go start all over again. When I go up to Cobb Mountain up near Clear Lake, it's really fascinating to see the hordes of ladybugs flying when they wake up from their hibernation. It's something spectacular. So you can try to draw on your own or you can simply color what I've given you in your packet. The egg, the larva, the pupa, and the ladybug. You can color it and cut it out and glue it in the right order. You can be really creative with it if you want. So that is the life cycle of the ladybug. And I think right here I have a picture to show you. Here is the larva eating and getting bigger and bigger, changing into the pupa on the leaf. Inside the ladybug is growing and then the ladybug starts to come out. Hello, ladybug. Look, see, you could kind of see its spots, but see the color of it? But it'll turn, turn a bright red. And the reason why it turns a bright red is to warn off all the predators that want to eat it, that they do not taste good. Do not eat me. Red is danger. Danger. Stay away. So here's the ladybug getting ready to fly. And here's a ladybug eating other little bugs. And like I said, they usually eat the bugs that are pests. So we really want to care for our ladybugs and take care of them.
before I go, I also want to show you, I went out, I went out to my, um, my garden. Hold on, I have to restart. And I found some nature. And I thought I could try to make a bug with what I found, okay? So I'm going to show you what I found. Maybe at the head in a thorax and an abdomen. See that? So now what I need are two antenna, right? So let's I've got two sticks for my antenna. How many legs does an insect have? Six legs, right? But before I do that, I found these really beautiful leaves. I thought could be maybe wings. Now butterflies and dragonflies have two sets of wings, right? So we have a look closely at that. So I got four leaves. Okay, now I'm going to add the legs. So I went to our willow tree and found some sticks. So one, these are going to be some long legs. Two, three. Now make sure, I'm making sure to keep them on the thorax and not the abdomen. The legs come off of the thorax. And let's see, I'll do three on the other side. One. Two and three. Ta da! And then I even found, I don't know if it's going to work. I thought I could do some big compound eyes at the top. I can't really see that. It's hard with my computer the way it's set up. But that <laughs> is my insect I made. Let's see if I can just with stuff out in my yard. And I'm not gluing it down or anything. I'm simply just leaving it here on this board and then I will take it back and put it back in nature where I found it. Isn't that cool? Maybe you can try to do something like that at your house. Okay. No. Okay, you can see my messy room. So I just wanted to let you know that you can do that and be creative with it and have fun. And it was really fun Zooming with all of you that could make it. And remember, just like Chantelle was saying, you do not need to talk or even have your video on if it's uncomfortable for you. You can just be there. I just want you to see everyone and be part of it. And I'm really proud of you for coming and for doing all this hard work. You guys are all doing a really great job. So go work on your life cycle of your ladybugs. Next week, we're going to learn about caterpillars, and we're going to learn about butterflies, and we're going to try to make some and look for some. So you guys look for things when you're out in your garden, when you're out and about. And I hope you're well and have a really good weekend and help out at home. You guys help set the table, help clean up the table, do help fold the laundry or put laundry away or Help feed the dog or the cat. And just pick up your clothes. Little things. I know it really helps me when I come out into the living room and I see that my kids have maybe unloaded the dishwasher or picked up their clothes or straightened up. Okay? Help your family. Okay? You guys are great. And I will see you on Monday. Goodbye.